Well, if the backlash against News Corporation is apparently not limited to that chamber of Britain's parliament, there are indications tonight that a notorious hacking group has targeted Rupert Murdoch's newspapers and at least one of the people embroiled in this scandal. And I would like to thank Rebecca you. Brooks opens with words of contrition. I would like to add my own um, personal apologies. As if she needed more to worry about, the former chief executive of News International may be wondering if hackers have turned the tables on her. Hackers apparently from the notorious group Lulzsec claim to have breached email servers at Rupert Murdoch's News International, specifically the Sun newspaper and the now defunct News of the World. Lulzsec boasts on its Twitter feed, we have owned Sun News of the World. One hacker linked to Lulzsec and the hacker group Anonymous brags, we're sitting on their emails. The hackers threaten to release emails publicly, but some of the information appears out of date. Lulsec and its supporters tweeted email addresses and passwords like those of Rebecca Wade. That's Rebecca Brooks's maiden name, which she hasn't gone by in at least two years. What does it mean that they posted an old email password file here for Rebecca Wade, who's now Rebecca Brooks? Well, what this means is that they were able to get into the uh, security system at the Sun and obtain this password file. This is an older password file uh, at the Sun from be when Rebecca Brooks was at the Sun. It means that they're storing this information at the Sun and it's still vulnerable to attacks. Former Justice Department cybercrime prosecutor Mark Rash says most companies are advised to destroy old data like that. Lulsec also claims credit for this hack steering users who wanted to go to the Sun newspaper's website to this fake story saying Rupert Murdoch was found dead in his garden after taking large quantities of the chemical element palladium. We tweeted Lulsec to ask why they may have done this. Called a number we had for them. Bonjour, this is Pierre Dubois. We got no response. News International would only say it's aware of a hacking attempt and its sites are back up.